uh, it's time for us to talk about the future of, of uh, North Scorpio. So if you have been living under a rock, or if you just don't pay that much attention to me, which would also make sense, uh, you will know that it has been a little bit difficult for me again to continue with the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday streams of RPGs. So we're going to keep doing RPGs as our main focus. Uh, that is not changing. But what I am going to be changing is we're going to change this to a Monday, Wednesday, Saturday opportunity. I'm going to be doing my streams 9.30 to 11.30, Monday and Wednesday. And Saturday, we're going to start at noon. And we're going to go from noon to 6. 12 to 2, we're going to do uh, our RPG of choice. And 2 to 6, we're going to do NSFL. And that's going to be to give myself that day buffer in between my streams because I think that's part of what's been making it more difficult. Uh, not to mention, outside factors, just in general, burnout, work, trying to get myself back into my routine. <laughs> I have been struggling in a lot of aspects lately. And I'm hoping that changing up the stream schedule will help me a little bit there. Now, if at any point the government decides to go forward with the UBI and it's enough where I am still I still feel comfortable, like if it's around what I'm currently making, I am considering trying to go full time for a little bit doing this. So I would be adding in more streams, still probably only about two hours a day, maybe three for a bit just so that we can try and make, and, and then, then this would be the only thing that I'm doing, so I would have that extra time back, which would be wonderful. Kind of need that break. I kind of really would like that break. Canada, go ahead with UBI, all right? I just need about two grand. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Two a month, I can manage. The other thing, our NSFL. So we're going to be finishing up Dead Space 2, probably not tomorrow. It's probably going to take two weeks. Uh, we'll see. Uh, and NSFL, I'm going to be changing it to not focus on these AAA titles that we've been playing a lot of. I still am going to finish Halo Wars 2 and the Halo Spartan games because I want to have all of the Halo games done. It just It's something that's itching at me. And then we're going to be moving our focus for NSFL to be more indie related. So if it's not a $60 game, <laughs> and that has nothing to do with the price tag. It has to do with the, like, the development cycle of it. If it's an independent developer, that's where I have found, I think that's going to be a more rewarding experience for me. And I've actually found that more people are generally willing to test out the waters with indie titles, both on YouTube and on Twitch. And this does mean for me that I'm actually going to be able to start playing some of these AAA titles that I've been holding on for years thinking, oh, I should stream that. <laughs> That's not to say we will never play a AAA title again. There will certainly be things that I either, it, they'll most likely be one-offs now instead of the other way around like when orcs must die 3 came out i would argue that orcs must die 3 was still kind of an indie title but i did the a first look at on stream and then i stopped playing it on stream that's more the vibe that i want to go for there may be special occasions where i try and play through a full game again got some games in my in the back of my head that I think would still be fun to play on stream and actually do a full playthrough but I'm definitely going to be refocusing NSFL the Norse core stream is not going to change though the Norse core stream we're still going to play whatever we want to play multiplayer we're doing Borderlands 2 which is going to take up the next 30 40 weeks uh, if the how long to beat website can be trusted 
in any strong capacity. We are not playing Borderlands. We're not starting Borderlands 2 tomorrow, by the way. We got a new closed beta access. Similar to Predecessor, we will be playing a game called The Cycle Frontier tomorrow. But you'll notice the times are not changing for those two. And I'm still going to be cutting those games up. If they're one-offs, we're going to put the entire VOD up at once instead of me cutting it up on when I put it to YouTube. We're still going to play through the rest of the Final Fantasy games for my RPGs. I have not, I am not straying away from that goal. But even there, when I'm taking my breaks and when we finish Final Fantasy, I am going to be focusing a little bit more on indie titles, indie RPGs. There's still another series that I think I might go through the rest of, which is Ys, Y-S. And there's also Fallout 3 is the next RPG we're going to do when we take our break after Final Fantasy VI. And I, that's obviously not a indie title. But it's one that I do want to screw around with on stream. I, I have, I've had a thought of how I want to kind of do that. I want to... Um, I'm going to use some console commands to boost myself so that way I'm not worrying about the death aspect necessarily and just have fun with it. <sighs> Lastly, I have been struggling to get myself back into the habit of exercising. I have a stationary bike. I'm going to take a page out of BDG's book. We're going to do an exercise stream every night. I don't know what I'm going to play. I had some thoughts about hooking up my PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 and screwing around in there. But we'll see. Uh, that one is not going to go to YouTube. It's going to be a dark stream. It's just going to stay on Twitch, the VODs. I'm not going to do anything fancy with it. And I'm also going to be uh, not not folk, not worrying about the idea of it must be indie for that because it's just going to be whatever I can do in order to keep myself preoccupied for about an hour. Lastly, I got a new closed captioning program attached to Twitch, and this one seems to be working, where the other one didn't seem to be working for me. I, it might work fine for some people, but since it wasn't working for me, I had to find a new one. This one seems to be working for me on my phone, so hopefully we can have that inclusivity for anybody who needs the closed captioning. <laughs> 